Hi, OCS families. It is June in 2021, and I cannot believe that the school year is almost over. This little video is to help explain how graduation is gonna work this year. Last year we had our car parade, and this year we are so excited that we were able to offer an in-person instruction. I'm here at the front of the school. You can see the sign on Jamila. This is the drop-off point for all of our graduates. So families, you are going to be coming here and dropping off our graduates through the main gate at 12.15 p.m. on Tuesday, June 8th. Please make sure that the students are here. They can start coming at 12.15, but they need to be here by 12.50 because this gate needs to be controlled by people that are here in order to let them in. Unfortunately, as you know, our campus is not open in terms of anybody being able to use the keypad. So it's really, really important that the kids get here and they get here on time. Once the students are here, our staff at the gate will be checking one, Parent Square. Did our families complete the Parent Square daily health screening before the students can come onto campus? Once that is checked, we will be checking their temperature, the no touch forehead temperature. And if they are cleared and they're below 99, then they will be able to come on in, get a squirt of hand sanitizer and come into the four seventh and eighth grade classrooms, which will be their staging area for the graduation ceremony. So please, 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 it's important. First thing you're gonna do is come by, drop off your students and make sure that they have parents where completed. If you drop them off and just drive off and go find parking elsewhere, I'll show you where the parents are gonna be and the guests will be entering into graduation. And these students do not have that parent square completed, they will not be allowed to come into school. So please bring them here, make sure that they are checked in and ready to go and then you can go to your next stop. Okay, you've dropped off the graduates at the front of the school and you've driven around to the back of the school. Behind me is Vintage Street. And if you go down this way, this is Hatio, and back that way is our K-1 yard. These two streets is where we are recommending that all guests and visitors to the graduation park. Why, you may ask? Because this gate right here, believe it or not, there is a gate at the far corner of the school over here. This is going to be the entrance gate for all of the guests to come in. So you're going to come in through this gate. And right here at the corner of the school, you can see the field behind me. You can see the stage right there. This is will be our check-in area for all guests for graduation. Guests need to be pre-registered. So the names that you have given to the school are the names and the only names that will be allowed into campus. I want you to realize something. All of these rules around graduation are not just crazy random rules that OCS made up. We are following the California Department of Public Health and the LA County Department of Public Health guidance for graduations. One of those things is to have required pre-registered guests. We are not requiring or asking our guests to test for COVID because the guests will be outside here at all times. Guests will be masked at all times and staying a social distance of six feet from themselves and the other um, people and other guests in other households. So you'll be coming out through this gate and you'll be walking this way after you get checked in. When we check you in, we have a uh, program that we use to check in people at the office. It's the same program we're gonna use out here. It's called Help Counter. And that is where you will check off that you're a visitor to the school. It will ask you three health questions. Those are the questions that I have sent already in, um, I believe Julie sent it in a Parent Square post. And so you'll be familiar with what those questions will be asking. And I'm just gonna move in the shade here for a second. And then you will um, get your temperature checked as well and get some hand sanitizer. Once that is all cleared, you'll be able to come in and you'll be able to go to the field where the chairs will already be set up. On the field, you will see your chairs. Your names will be on the chairs. You will go ahead and choose your seat and you will stay there the ceremony will start at one. I will go over and talk about the ceremony a little bit over there, but once the ceremony is over, the families will again be exiting out this same gate that you came through right here. 
to your cars, which is why we recommend that you park over here because this will be your in and out gate for graduation. I'm over here now on the field and I just wanna speak to you for a moment about the COVID protocols. The COVID safety protocols are very important for us to follow. And as you know, we were hearing a lot in the news about how things are changing for our everyday life or what things might look like after June 15th. I just wanna remind you that schools have different COVID protocols than say what you would be able to do when you're at home or what you might be able to do if you go into another business. So if you are a vaccinated person and you're like, I don't need to wear a mask when I'm at home or visiting say a close friend's house and they're vaccinated as well, that doesn't apply here. So we're asking all of our guests to please follow these COVID safety protocols this is a special graduation for our students who will be the first time that they are all together on campus this year. We want to make it special for them and we don't want it to be focused on the protocols. We want it to be focused on them. And so we're asking all of our guests that come to please abide by those protocols and follow them so that it will be a smooth graduation. We're asking all of the graduation guests to be respectful of the rules of the day. You can see the stage is right there behind me. This may be a place that you are seated. All of the guests will have assigned seats and the students will be processing in and processing out down the center aisle of the seating area. It's important that all of the seats, um, the groups of guests are six feet apart from each other as well. And so it's a pretty wide area where we will have the, the guests seated. And we ask that everybody is respectful and stays in their seating area at all times. Uh, we can't have people getting up and walking around, greeting each other, um, going closer than the six feet, seeing the other graduates on campus or as they're processing in, wanting to walk up to them, giving them a hug, giving them high fives. All of the things that we might typically see in our normal graduation, we can't do in that form solely because of COVID and we want to ensure that it's safe. So you have your stage, it'll be all set up, it'll look really great and beautiful and the kids will be processing in and out off of the grass area right here and so they'll be coming from their classrooms and when they're done they'll be going back to the NPR. The guests will come in, find your seat, graduation ceremony takes about an hour and when you're done you will stay in your seats wait for the graduates to process out and then the guests the families will then exit the campus the same way they came in once you exit the campus once the ceremony is completed you will be going to your cars <laughs> i'm gonna leave that in because that's just kind of funny you'll be going to your cars and then after that you will be driving over to the front of the school and i'll show you where you'll be able to pick up the graduates where you can go home and you can celebrate together in style. When it's time to pick up the graduates, they will be exiting from this side door of the NPR, which is behind me. You can see the front of the school down there. So we simply ask that the families will come in and they'll be picking up the students valet style. The kids will be hanging out in the NPR, celebrating their graduation, waiting for the cars to come pick them up. We know immediately the cars will come from their parking area and come around this way down Jamila to this point to pick up the students and then be on their merry way. We're excited that the kids will be able to have this opportunity to have an in-person graduation and we know that it will be special. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all those kids I haven't seen yet and seen in a while. We also know that it will be a wonderful opportunity for the kids to close out their time here at OCS. So for all of the reasons that we get to celebrate our students. Let's think of them and keep them close to our hearts as we remember how we want to celebrate on this day, how we want to follow the rules that we need to follow and enjoy the moments. Remember a few things, it'll be one o'clock p.m. It will be out in the direct sun, so please dress accordingly and um, you know have it be appropriate for graduation, but realize that it might be a little bit of a warm day and we look forward to seeing everyone then. If you have any questions, please contact the school in advance. We'd be happy to answer your questions. We wanna make sure that this is a really smooth event.
Thanks everyone and see you at graduation.